entire list first, and then we'll take a nice applause and have the acknowledgement. Um, so seniors, as you hear your name, you can just walk right out and form uh, a line right here, and uh, then we'll have the acknowledgement. So, uh, first senior, Abby the Journey. Haley Bergsrud. Aaron Bozeal. Morgan Cesars. Quinn Clark. Rashard Davis. Emily Enders. Katie Fueling. Gabby Garifani. <coughs> Caleb Golden. Caitlin Harrison. <coughs> Maya Cash. Megan Kosher. Ashley Lavoda. Rachel Leifer. <laughs> Emma Milton. Evan Moslin. Amanda Morgan. Jennifer Nelson. Brenna Nicholson. Michael Mikey Plutz. Kristen Rodenbeck. Madison Maddie Rundell. Carly Steiner. Tanner Tebon. Eddie Tice. Kat Whalen, and Hannah Ware. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you a very, very fine group of graduating seniors. Watching my kids grow up fast, and and these these are our kids too. And you know, I'm looking at them, and I'm thinking back. It wasn't that long ago that they were freshmen in women's chorus and men's chorus. And to think about the people that they've become, and to think about the artistry that they have shared and developed, and how they have learned about themselves and the goodness that they've put into the world, it's a little overwhelming. I just like looking at them. <laughs> I congratulate you. I know Mrs. Michaels, on behalf of both of us, we 
We're just very proud of you, and thank you for sharing your time with us here at Muskingo High School. Hello everyone and good evening. Um, I'm Patty Rondell, I'm one of the seniors here at Mosquito High School. And um, I would like to take this moment to uh, recognize Mrs. Dreheim, our wonderful accompanist. Where are you? across the keyboard. It was absolutely amazing and very mesmerizing. And um, I know that over this past year, Ms. Dreheim has been such a wonderful addition to this music department and she's become a fellow musician, a collaborator, and most of all, a friend to everyone. So on behalf of the MHS seniors graduating this year, we would like to thank Ms. Dreheim for all of her great work and we have a gift for her, so. a coach, a mentor, a role model. I would say more, but to spare all of you the time and my embarrassment for not being able to pronounce such articulate words, I guess all we can say is thank you. We know you're human and have days where you're just not in the mood to do anything. It'd be so easy to just go easy and give us us and you breaks. But she doesn't. She doesn't. <laughs> uh, but no, you power on through and you do not let anything stop you. You are definitely everything we could ask for in a director. You are headstrong, determined, fun, someone we all wish to be more like. We leave the car room every day knowing we worked hard and have accomplished something, even if that's the only thing we feel that we have accomplished that day. In our piece, listen, there's a line that says we were made for song. Since Mrs. Michaels has been our teacher, this line has reigned true in the fact that each one of us has been made for song. And though all those songs have been different, we were made to play, to sing, to write, and to dance to that song. So our gift to you, our favorite princess, or now I should really say queen, our Beauty and the Beast fans know exactly what item this will be. Some of you may know that in her senior year of high school, <laughs> on this stage, she played <laughs> Belle in Beauty and the Beast. I can't see what she's doing, so. <laughs> We'd like to give this rose, you can bring it over to her, she's not gonna bite. <laughs> Encapsulated in glass to symbolize your teachings and your kindness to all of us and how it will stay with us forever. It also lights up too, that's really cool. <laughs> so that you can remember long after you retire and become a crossing guard for some reason, that's what we want to do. Disney trip, fun story. We almost died, but it's fine. <laughs> Also, we can be beasts, and who could ever learn to love a beast? You can. And in case you ever forget what you have done to us and your effect on we, your students, we have almost all of us have written <coughs> notes expressing our thoughts, and we even signed the case to remember who your favorite class was. Seventeen. <laughs>
Mr. Warner, four years is a lot of time. 1,460 days to make an impression. 1,460 days to create a legacy. 1,460 days to share your passion, to share your dream. As Beethoven once said, music is like a dream, one that I cannot hear. <laughs> Although the humor is evident, Beethoven hit on something that is clearly exemplified through you. Somehow, you managed to manipulate the expected definition of success. It goes without saying that you define your success by the endless quantity of passion you can share with your students. This passion, this passion you have is not possible to describe, and you may not see it, but I do. We all see it. I believe your dream is a reality as you stand on the stage with us, freshmen through seniors. Though you may not be able to pinpoint your dream, I believe that your dream resides in the heart of all of your passion. Beethoven, maybe unintentionally, states that the sensation we receive from music cannot be described using words. Well, Mr. Warner, that is where we all are with you. You are an amazing human, director, and friend. Here is to your next 1,460 days to change more lives in the way you changed ours. just part one. <laughs> so, one day Mr. Warner said to us in class, when you start choir, you have your tool belt and there's nothing in it. You really don't know what you're doing. And as your years go by, you get all your tools. So, we made a tool belt with all the tools and it's got everything that we learned. We've got solfege, my personal favorite in here. <laughs> Phrasing, count singing, we all love that. And it's everything that we've learned, technique-wise. But then we also put together all of the personal, individual connections that Wanner has given us. He's taught us so much. And it's things that not everyone always connects with. But for some of us, it's so special. And so we put them all together, and we've got them in a big bin that he gets to go through later. Now we've got the best part. We made a t-shirt in honor of the biggest part of our entire year. We were so lucky and we got to sing with Mr. Warner, Mr. Warner and Mr. Eric Whitaker. And I know that that was a special time for Mr. Warner and he wants to remember it every single day. So we made a t-shirt for him. Thank <laughs> you. 